Hey gorgeous, welcome back to my channel and today we have Glam Bag X for February 2021 and I am so excited It's a whole new subscription coming up with Ipsy and I was never excited about the ultimate I never purchased the ultimate but this one of being good quality luxury items from celebrities selecting it for you I was like hell yeah sign me up so here we go and it's already sold out so a lot of people didn't got to receive it some were already listed some uh, just sold out and they weren't even able to choose so I was lucky enough to be selected and I was lucky enough to get it so I'm excited to show you guys I do think that the choices were a little bit random here and there in some items but most of the promise spoilers were there and most people receive every single one so let's just go ahead and try it out and show you guys what goodies I got and of course when I received my box they put it right over here the sticker but this is what it looks like. I love this shade of lilac. Uh, it's a very sturdy, big box. I'm glad we're back to boxes and you have Ipsy right over here. Once you open it up, you just have Glam Bag X all over. And this kind of reminds me of Fenty Savage, I'm not gonna lie, but it does have a very nice shade and it's one of my favorites. So if I ever came out with the product, this probably would be the color I go with as well. So let's just go ahead and show you guys what goodies we got. And this time, instead of a car, we received a whole pamphlet of Glam Bag X. So pretty much it's talking about uh, expert artistry from Patrick Ta, which is the celebrity that selected these items. I think it's talking about pretty much every single item that they have featured, which is awesome and giving you a little bit of fun information. I'm not going to go over it, but it's pretty much showing me every single product that they had available for this box. So let's just go, go ahead and show you guys the goodies I got. And let me see if I can put this somewhere so we can have the prices. But first thing I'm going to select is the Sonic Tick Bar Facial Massager for Complex Couture. This one, you've probably seen it all over. This was on the spoilers. And I do have a lot of the brushes from this brand. And I do love the brushes. So I was excited to see what goodies they had. And I love it. <laughs> this is so cute. It is rose gold. It is pretty heavy. I'm probably best if you cool it before you use it. I I really really like what this looks like and it's already very cooling so it's definitely gonna feel very very nice under my eyes and applying some of the creams that I already do on my skincare so very very nice this one it was actually $58 oh my god this is expensive $58 for this little fella whoa all right uh, let's just keep on going because um that was that was a lot <laughs> Next item I want to show you guys is the Pat McGraw Labs Fetish Eyelashes Mascara. This is a Pat McGraw mascara, guys. I've never ever tried Pat McGraw. It's so amazing for what everybody hears and says and their eyeshadows and their formulas. So I'm really, really excited. I do love to have mascara. It's the only thing I use on my no makeup looks. So really, really excited. And this one is worth $30, which is actually not that bad compared to some Tubi mascaras like Thrive, Thrive Cosmetics that is usually like $24 I believe uh, But yes, very very excited. It comes in a very peculiar packaging You don't usually see this and it's really sturdy because I don't have anywhere to open it So I'm gonna have to get scissors all right, so it was very sturdy. I had to use scissors to cut it out and it comes with this little pamphlet inside. And then this is what the actual mascara looks like. And I wanna show you the wand. It's actually a very normal wand. So I am interested in the formula. I don't think this is waterproof. And I don't know, it has a really nice smell, like a rose smell, um, not bad at all. And I'm excited because it's fine of your I never tried it before. Uh, next item is actually for your hair and we had a couple choices but I got excited with this one and I wanted to try it out and this is $27.50 value. It's Saints and Sinners Illuminati Divine Shine Holographic Serum. So this is like a serum for your hair and it seems to be very nice like the bottle I like it and it's supposed to give you shine and just help treat your hair it's like a hair serum so I did want to try it out and see how well it goes on my hair because sometimes I care of my skin but I don't care of my hair and obviously I'm burned out from so much bleaching so I wanted to see how well this worked and then I had to try this one just because it was already available all over the spoilers and I really really wanted to see how good it was because I never seen such a pretty bottle so this is the bottle for air this is a texture air infused with quartz and mica 
this is what the bottle looks like very nice and i just noticed right over here it got like a pull scratch or something i don't know if you can see it um i guess it's gonna scratch the cover that it had around and this one is again 28 dollars so not bad but very expensive for you to get a hairspray even though it's a very big size bottle um very excited to try that i don't really use texture hair as much but sometimes you know you have those nice days out that you want your hair to stay put because it's making you crazy so i just wanted to see if those days it can help me out so next item is from patrick ta and this is the major bra shaping wax this is what the packaging looks like which is gorgeous and this one comes with its own um uh its own brush this is what it looks and that is so pretty you're seeing all my secrets and you open it through the side Trying to figure out how you open it. Okay, so you kind of have to open it through the side and then this is what it looks like. So it's the clear one. I almost bought the other one, but I decided that the clear one would be best. And as you can see, it's very clear. And then the next thing should be the brush, which is also Patrick Ta stain packaging. Very cute. Let me see. I never tried him before though. So it was very cute to find something new and see how nice the packaging is i love the rose gold so that is the spoolie and then on the other side you can actually shape your wax and shape your brows with it next item i actually purchased with my own money and this is the patrick top for face blush and this is in shade she is adorable i really wanted to try his blush because it seems to be so cute and i've been looking for a good one so i just went ahead and purchased it because it was on sale i think i paid I don't know if it was $18 uh, or $25. I think it might have been $25. But yes, this is what I actually got. Very, very nice. And it has like a little gold shimmer inside. So I really want to know how well it will look. So it's probably going to be a bit of a highlighter blush type of deal. But it's very, very cute. They do seem to have very good quality when it comes to the packaging. The blush itself was $32. And the brow item was actually 40 so that brow wax was 40 dollars very very high price for sure this one i got is actually queen beauty blender this is what it looks like it's hot pink and i do love these i only have a real beauty blender all the other ones are fake so i thought that maybe just go ahead and chose one so at least i can have it with me uh next item is huda beauty this is a beautiful packaging beautiful color i absolutely love huda since i finally started trying her items and this is the rose gold palette remastered this is her on her cover she looks beautiful as always and i am excited oh and right over here as you can see it's kind of like chromatic on the letters and it has a beautiful cover of, of her again and oh my god these shades are gorgeous look at this guys that is so pretty it's mostly rose and shimmers and I am all for it like this rose gold right up here it's absolutely amazing it has like this pink and golden shimmer so I'm definitely gonna try this and play with it around I really want to try her um, retrograde palette which is really catching my eye because of the shimmers and the pastels so I'm probably gonna have to splurge on that one but I haven't finally decided just because I'm doing less makeup than ever so I don't want to keep buying more makeup that I'm not gonna use but very 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 nice next item is actually from Farah and I got these on the Adams because I was crazy about these I almost chose them on the actual like I almost chose them on the choices for glam Back x but i decided to just go with something else because i wanted to try the hair stuff and then i got these two which is a little bit different but this is a flat brush and then this is just like a small powder one um this one can be for powder it can be also yeah pressed powder so this is for pressed powder this was a flat foundation so i got these two fellas i think it was five dollars each um i also got these foxy bay 12 in 1 magic daily live in hair mask i got this one with my points uh, next one was also with my points and this is touch and soul soul velvet lipstick i got this one with my points as well but i just thought that it was a very very nice color and this is pretty filter i believe 
Yes, I believe this is shade Pretty Filter because I don't see anywhere else. And this is what the color looks like. Pretty much the same color of the packaging. Very, very nice. And lastly is one of their choices, which I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. This is about base lipstick. This is $22. So this tiny little thing is $22. I don't know how I feel about the color, just because it's a little bit too deep, uh, but this is what it looks like. It's going to be pretty dark, and the packaging feels very like 3D, very soft and velvet, but oh my god, this is expensive. And this is a matte paint in love color, so so long summer for the shade. So that is all for my Glam Bag X. Let me know down below, what are your thoughts, what do you think? Is this worth the price? I don't have my full, but this is definitely more than $200 for the value. Very excited just because it's something new and a lot of products that I have never tried and brands and some of them are high branded. I can't wait to see the spoilers for the next one and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and leave it down below. What are your thoughts? Have you tried it? And I'll see you guys next video. Bye!